said I'd make a video showing you how to do file work and so what I went ahead and did was I drew out a whole bunch of different patterns and whatnot and pretty much you can make a uh, the patterns out of anything that you want whatever you feel like drawing so for example uh, you know just kind of made a arrow kind of pattern on this one um, it's kind of the same thing here and I did the arrow with some little uh, check or diamonds in there and just loops and whatnot. And I was just kind of experimenting with oh, what, what would it look like if you did that. So you just draw two lines and then make whatever pattern you want in there. Probably one of the neater ones of them might be something like that. Kind of a, a, a Mojave or some kind of pattern like that. Whatever you feel like. Here's kind of a vine pattern. A couple different ways to do vine patterns. Ultimately, what I decided on, here's another vine pattern. Um, ultimately, what I decided on was maybe like a twist pattern for this particular knife. And I think I'll go with this one here. So I'll zoom in on that. And pretty much what I plan to do is just kind of roll the file an angle that way, bring it up, and then roll it around and kind of make a, a well, just a twist pattern essentially, is what that'll end up being. And you know, if you can't draw, I can't either, obviously, but if you can't, print something out. Like that guy did a great job. You can get some ideas from that. You can print it out, trace it, whatever. It's all about you. So I'm going to get this camera set up and get to work and show you how. Now before I start, here's the blade that I'm going to use. This is actually a, a kind of a softer steel. It's 1018. Um, normally I would go with a 1095 at least steel. I don't know why you can see that. So the reason that I'm going with the twist pattern is because I'm not going to do it over the whole thing. See, it's kind of stub, stubby at the front there. So I think starting from right around where the bolster starts, right in this area, run that all the way through. Just make that twist. Okay? So that's kind of the reason I wanted to go with a twist pattern. Just because it's got a really short blade. And I don't want to have a whole lot of file work on this because it's already heat treated. It does take some time. Okay. All right. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to take your knife, mark where you think the uh, bolster is going to be thereabouts. I think mine's going to be right in this area somewhere here. So I went ahead and marked it with a marker. And we'll put something right about there. That's where we're going to start from. Mark all the way down to the end with our twist pattern. Now this particular blade is already heat treated, so we're going to have to use diamond files. I picked these up from uh, Harbor Freight for about $5 actually. So, and uh, you can see the item number there, 06989 from Harbor Freight Tools. So pretty much I'm going to select a half round file from here, to be this one kind of rounded on both edges and we'll get started on my first cut is kind of about this angle here and I'm not sure what that is but it's much greater than 45 I'm not marking anything, I'm just going to freeform it. You can do whatever, whatever you feel like. Just check often and don't mind my bald spot if it gets in the way. I'll try to keep it out of the way. From there, I'm going to make my first twist. So I'm probably going to get a, a kind of an X. You can see the angle there. This is closer to a 45 degree. And I'm just going to do this up on the edge of it. And start 
Eventually, I'm going to start rolling this over to make it flat. And I think actually I'm going to start on making it flat right now. I'm going to try to cut them down it's pretty far down that side. And you're going to roll it. And just keep rolling all the way over. Being a, a heat treated blade, you can imagine that this takes quite a bit of effort. This particular blade is heat treated to about 56 to 58 RC. And you just keep on, get down, good angle. And bring it over the top. back down to the side. Alright, so we can already see the start of the twist there. And I'm just going to check to make sure it looks like how I want it. So far, this side is coming along pretty good. I'm going to really get down on that top part. You might have to make short moves right here until you get it cut down enough. Essentially what you're doing is getting down angle, rolling it over flat, and then going to the same angle on the opposite side. So something like that. So it's basically just a twist, twisting motion as you come over. You're rolling it, making that twist pattern. <clears throat> 